at 9,000 feet on US 550, which is known as the Million Dollar Highway. In the RV world, it is very controversial whether you should take an RV on it or not. But it is open to commercial vehicle traffic, and that usually makes me okay with going as then I'll make it. However, this road is pretty interesting. We are on the side of a cliff, and I'm heading southbound, which makes it worse. But most of the time, there is a white line and very little room, and then a canyon hundreds of feet below. So the margin for error is zero. We are Kyle and Nicole, avid travelers from Michigan. In 2021, Kyle quit his job and we have been traveling across North America in our travel trailer while I continue to work full time from the road. We love to create content showing amazing destinations, things to do, free camping spots, and RV life. We hope you will like, subscribe, and comment on our videos and join us for these fantastic adventures. You never know where we will pop up next. Today we are traveling the famous Million Dollar Highway. This highway stretches 25 miles from Uvray to Silverton, however, it is one way in, one way out, so we will be taking the entire highway, which is 550, to Durango. If you research this road, there is a lot of hype about it. Personally, I never wanted us to take this road with the trailer, but when you're in western Colorado, it seems you're going to be going through mountain passes anywhere to go east. We are starting our drive going through the town of Uray. Once you go through the town, you quickly start climbing in elevation. There are beautiful views of the town as you rise before entering into the mountains. One of our first welcome signs was a sign for truckers advising mountain passes ahead, 7 to 8% grades, narrow roads, steep drop offs, and alternate routes advised. The scenery in this first section is really beautiful. If you are a driver that gets distracted easily, this might not be the road for you. There are waterfalls and pullouts that you can take, but for us in the trailer, our goal today is just to get to our destination safely. showing you right now I'm behind a semi and they're your friends because they can't go very fast I can go faster than you can I want to but I can't but they're gonna lead the way and oncoming traffic is going to give them extra space and since I happen to be right behind one they're also going to give me extra space so my advice also is just take your time don't be in a hurry go down that hill because you're trying to hurry up and get out of people's way and you're dead. It's really that simple. There's no guardrail there that is straight down. You're not coming back up from there. So the people behind you can wait because if the road is closed because you've fallen down there and they have to do a fatal accident uh, report, that's a much worse day than all the people behind you just having to wait for you to go a little slow. So just don't be in a hurry, take your time, be careful, use your mirrors, watch the RV follow around behind you because you're going slow and everything should be okay. However, this is at the beginning of this uh, ride here, so you know, we haven't made it yet, so who knows if we'll be able to release it or not. speed limit increased to 55 so we must be on an okay stretch at the moment. Here is a view of Red Mountain, still pretty white. So we are about 13 miles in from leaving Uray. As you can see there is a lot of passing going on right now. 
So it's 25 miles from Uray to Silverton, and man, that first half was quite a doozy. Oh my god. I see why people say going south to north is better because then you are on the cliff side. Such beautiful views up here. We finally get to be cliffside. Oh my god, it's so nice. Eleven thousand feet. We're beginning our journey down now. We passed the summit. There was no sign, at least not that we saw that said summit. And this is the elevation. I think it was maybe eleven thousand. This is the highest that we've ever taken the trailer. We definitely have not seen many RVs, uh, maybe one that was coming at us and we pulled over for a little potty break and none passed us, so not a big RV route here I would say. There are a couple different stretches of road where you can pass. faster cars go around. The passenger experience today has been a mixed bag. I don't know whether to whip my phone out and like take pictures because the scenery is so beautiful or like remain uber still and not make any sudden movements so I don't distract the driver. And we made it to Silverton. up here is currently 379 for regular looks like we're going through another mountain pass here this was called molasses pass I think into the 9,000s when we got to Silverton, but now we're headed back up.
try to be courteous, pull over if you have cars behind you and let them pass. If you're not comfortable though, just keep driving. Get where you need to go in one piece. It's always going to be more important than someone else getting there a couple minutes faster. I think it's a circle. Oh, I don't know. So I thought the road was a circle. It was not a circle and now we need to back down here. Some of the joys of what we do. So we decided to pass on the boondocking spot. It was super busy there. It's gonna be cold. There was like only one site available, which was like down in a little bowl. And so we're like, let's just go on. So we're here at Haviland, I don't know, State Forest Campground. We're gonna pay tonight. <laughs> we don't do this very often. So I guess it's a treat yourself. We've got some electricity. It's $39 here. We're gonna just pay for the one night, figure out what we wanna to do tomorrow. We never really have many plans, so. Our site has a picnic table and a fire pit. Here we are. It's a bathhouse over there. This campground is a bit narrow. It is a national forest campground. There are sites with no services and some sites with electricity. It's kind of pricey here. A uh, regular site, no service is $27 a night with electricity is $39 a night. The lake here is also really popular for fishermen. Cell service for me was very hit or miss. We had to go all the way up top. That's where they told me that Verizon was the best. And I did okay, but I ended up having to use our Wi-Fi booster in the end. So it is day two and we are leaving the campground at Haviland Lake South on Highway 552 Durango. We only have about 20 miles remaining on this highway and as luck would have it, it's snowing. This road throws a lot at you. 30 degrees. We've made it to Durango. I am super happy to be out of the mountain passes and our truck did so awesome, even with all the transmission problems we seem to have. I would have much rather toured this road without the trailer just to enjoy it more. There are various points to pull over for scenic views or to look at waterfalls, which are much easier to do in a car versus towing a trailer. And there are loads of recreation opportunities. Hopefully this video helps you decide if Highway 550 is for you, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks for watching!